What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Advanced Security, your source for security guard pro tips. It's your boy, a passionate security guard. Today, I'm gonna to be red pilling you security guards out there, and I'm gonna use the examples of teachers because of what's happened lately and the violence that happened in the shooting, teachers are all over social media. And I have something to say about that because it relates to being a security guard, right? And the way capitalism and the market works because I have zero sympathy for your security guards out there not making a livable wage and complaining about your wages. It's your fault. It's all on you. You're not making a livable wage. At the end of the day, we're providing a service. If that service is not being compensated correctly, you need to seek better opportunities. Maybe even leave the security guard sector and find something new like I did. All right, guys, so let me describe this picture because uh, I don't know if I'll be able to edit this video or not. So this is teacher carrying an AR. She has her, her face bid mask. She has a sash saying budget cuts. She has a first aid kit and a whole bunch of stuff and a tattoo saying the low wages. Her pants says false flags and all that crap. And at the bottom of the picture, it says the American teacher. Now that triggered me. That triggered me because my mom was a teacher. My grandma was a teacher. I was a martial arts teacher and I understand capitalism on some basic fundamental level and had some time to kill this morning and I debated with some teachers who got really pissed off at me because I red-pilled them. They were calling me ignorant, they were saying all sorts of stuff. None of them could refute what I was saying. They are all talking about, teachers don't get paid enough, the value and services we provide society is much needed, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not. You're glorified babysitters with a useless degree when you are a teacher for the most part check this out this is what i put in my comment right in the comment i put and this is going to be a little bit of a read i challenge you to see it differently if you like teachers get paid enough uh they have weekends off summers off paid holidays and they get out to work before five they don't have to create or do any manual labor even risk their life much Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind because those, those are benefits. People don't, don't understand those schedules are benefits. Getting your holiday spades are benefits, right? You get the same days off as your kids if you have any. You don't need a babysitter because your kids are in school and when they're not, you're at home. Let's keep reading. All the answers are, so, sorry. All, all the answers to every question is in front of them. In the book, they have health benefits as well. Man, I wish I could be a teacher. I wouldn't mind doing what they do. You know what's a, the deadliest job? Question mark. It's not teaching. For five years straight, cashiers, security guards, and retail employees were killed more than cops. Google that if you don't believe me. I don't remember exactly which years it was, but that was the thing. I, I, did, it, I did a video about that a long time ago. Isn't that interesting how these people had to still work and were called essential workers during the vid. Isn't, it, isn't that interesting how capitalism works? Question mark. Teachers are useless. None of us use any math beyond what we learn in the third grade. Most of us only use basic social skills we learn in the playground. Keep your hands to yourself and sharing is caring. Teachers are just babysitters with a degree of nonsense. We wouldn't have to send kids to school if we lived in a society where one spouse's wage was enough. Teachers are a joke, and I know plenty of them. Again, my mother and grandmothers were teachers. They don't teach you how to cook, how to fight, how to clean, how to fix a wall, which are necessary life skills. They don't provide a value to society on a normal basis. And this is why they will never make beyond an average wage. I worked with top teachers making 125 a year and they don't need high wages for their services, just normal ones, which they already get. Teaching is just a job like throwing boxes in a factory, boxes in a factory. It isn't special and it's very simple. I throw boxes in a factory. I'm making 2250 an hour working Monday to Friday from six to 230 currently. That's my current living situation. They don't have to do any manual labor. My back hurts, my arms hurt after I leave my job because of the type of stuff I'm doing. Now, as far as security goes, yeehaw! <laughs> now, 
let's talk about, let's go a little bit deeper in this. And we're like, you don't think that they deserve a higher wage when they take care of 30 plus kids. And I told the teacher, uh, they're cheaper by the dozen. You offer a service to 30 people, you're probably offering it in a discount rate. That's how capitalism and sales work. These teachers, they don't provide any infrastructure. They don't own their own buildings. They don't buy their own textbooks. They don't write their own textbooks. They don't buy their own supplies. They don't have to worry about light, gas, or any, any anything security in the school for the most part, right? Putting security on the side, right? All those services are provided for them, to them, by the school themselves, the school director, the school owners, or tax paying money. They have zero risk to losing anything. Why should they get paid more? Oh, because I took a degree. I have a degree. I, you know, I went to school for four or five years, got my bachelor's, then I did one or two years internship as a teacher assistant. Now I'm a teacher and I deserve more. No, because you're already getting enough value for your services. That's how it works. Again, you have all this time off. You could get a second job if you want to. You choose to buy these kids, your students, more teaching supplies. Some teachers are slick enough to like do fundraisers, which is great. Now, being a teacher is awesome, is rewarding, but that, that's part of the value of being a teacher. You're doing rewarding work. That's worth something to these individual teachers. They prefer that than getting paid more. If you want a higher wage, go for higher wage like jobs. Compete in the market. Like I said, I worked in a school where the teachers were making 125 a year. The school was famous. It was on 60 minutes. But the teachers there were competing. They were hungry. They were like NBA players of teachers. 125 is not a regular wage for teachers. That's really high earning. Six figures for teaching? I know some college teachers that don't even make that much money. What does this have to do with security? You have to take ownership of your paycheck, of the services you're providing. I am being priced out currently out of security because of the amount of skills I bring. I'm an, I, I'm a, I'm, I'm an advanced security guard. Depending on the job, I'm an elite security guard. If I get paid well enough, man, I'll, I'll do everything. But there's too many security guards making 11 bucks an hour as unarmed. There's too many security guards armed only making 13, 14 bucks an hour. That's not a wage I'm willing to work for, no matter how simple the job is. 40, jo 40 hours a week doing that, but then I need overtime so I can make a livable wage. F that. I only do overtimes when I'm doing a project. I need to buy a car, I need to do this. I don't want to spend my regular 40 hours a week earnings because I need to be smart. I need to make sure my family is moving forward. If you're not making a livable wage, you've been doing security for five years. If you're not doing, making a livable wage, which could be different depending on what state you are, then you have to leave that field and find something better. Right now, in Pottsville, Pennsylvania, Walmart Distribution Center, if you work as an order filler, as a picker in the frozen section, I mean, I mean, as below zero degrees, sorry, They'll give you the training and the equipment, no experience necessary. You'll make 32 bucks an hour. On top of that, you get commission, baby. I know a bunch of people right now at Walmart making six figures, no college degree. Isn't that wild? That's a lot of money. <laughs> Why will I go to being a security guard where I can make that type of money? Why? It makes no sense. You have to think about these things as a security guard. If you are not making a livable wage, you're not making a good wage, and over between 45 to 60 a year, I don't know, what's your circumstances, what state you live in, and you have to work overtime to get by, and you live paycheck to paycheck, you gotta leave that job. You have to leave the sector, and if you like security, every once in a while, you look up on Indidus and look for a job that pays you good. And if it's not there, it's not happening. I spent $4,000 on security in one year on training, on testing fees, on equipment. And I can't find the job I need right now to leave the current job I have. Heck, I cannot even find a security guard part-time job 
paying 18 bucks or 20 bucks an hour for me giving up my weekends. You know what I do see? Night shift making 13 bucks an hour. Isn't that insane? I feel for people getting into security that, that have to do that on some level, but then I'm cold blooded like a snake. I'm like, nah, nah. You decide to get paid that. You're dictating the, what the, the value of your services are. And too many security guards are lowballing themselves. Same thing goes with security agencies. You don't know how to market or sell what you're doing. You don't know how to educate your clients. Clients have no idea what security is. So they have no idea what they're purchasing. They just see somebody there standing. That's it. That's that, guys. It's a red pill. I get it. I get it. But that's how life is. That's how capitalism works. If everybody's willing to do the job, the job pays less. If the barrier to entry is too wide, it's going to pay less. Unless you become a specialist in certain areas and there's opportunities in working those type of posts. That's it, man. I hope you guys found value in this and understand it. You know, some of us need to leave the job market of security and go somewhere else and find greener pastures. That's it. That's it, guys. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. If you found value in this video, press like. Leave a comment down below saying thank you. Gracias. Or happy birthday. My birthday this week. 37, baby. <laughs> Adios. Ciao. Lo quiero mucho.